United States of America has for a long time been by far the largest economy in the world. With $23.32 trillion in 2021, it remains the largest economy in the world. A black community in the United States of America is estimated to be the second largest racial group after white Americans and therefore their centrality and contribution to the growth, socio-economic development and success of America cannot be underemphasized. In recognition of essential roles played by the black community and their achievements in the history of the United States of America, Carter G. Woodson and other prominent African Americans founded Black History Month. Obligated to promoting the history and heritage of African Americans, the month of February, which is the birth month of civil and social freedom activist Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, prominent leader of the abolitionist movement, is dedicated to celebrating important people and events that led to the abolishment of slavery. Successive governments of United States and Canada have officially recognized the month of February as African American Month since 1796, and in recent times, United Kingdom, Ireland, and some other nations have joined in the celebrations. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Today, I simply want to thank you for all you've done for me, for all of the country. So much has been accomplished in the people in this room. Black History Month is more than a celebration. It's a powerful, powerful reminder that black history is American history. Black culture is American culture. Black stories are essentially an ongoing story of America. I see it every day with the Vice President and the incredible job she's doing. We see it in the black members of the cab my cabinet and the White House staff and who are here today who serve to defend the nation, protect the planet, build the economy, deliver housing, jobs, and justice. And we see it in the tireless, heroic efforts of the Congressional Black Caucus. We remember the heroic legacy of African Americans who bravely battled oppression to usher in a bright new dawn of freedom. It's exactly what you're doing. And you are at the forefront. You know, this is a new age. This is a very exciting time. It's a very exciting time for our country. Our country is respected again all over the world. They are respected. We're celebrating the lives of black public servants who helped make the UK what it is. There are servicemen from the UK and Commonwealth who fought for and with Britain to defend democracy. Inspired by the growth of this observance outside the United States of America, the Bureau for International Development, Exchanges and Commerce, IDEC, a Ghanaian organization founded Black History Festival in 2022. The relevance of Africa's diaspora is very key to the socioeconomic development of all the sovereign nations in the African Union. It is therefore a priority of governments, the private sector, civil society to look at the diaspora of Africa in many ways. One, in the area of investment into businesses and the private sector. Two, into boosting the economy of nations of which people of African descent originate from. Three, to promote cultural exchange between people of African descent and their root home, which is Africa. As a result of that, the Black History Festival was initiated in 2021 um, after engagement with partners like the United States um, Department of State, uh, the Wilson Center, the African Union Mission to the United States, and some government functionaries in the United States. It is an opportunity to emphasize the role that the black race has played in all this period of time of you know, history of development of mankind. 
and I think it is equally important that we in Ghana here acknowledge and you know, see how we can also celebrate the achievements of the black community. The maiden edition of the festival, which took place in Washington DC in 2022, saw government of Ghana officials, including senior minister Yao Osafumafu, engage participants and exhibitors on the promotion of cultural exchange, investment and partnerships. It's a festival that I personally attended last year, 2022, in DC and thought that it was such an amazing program that we should continue to give that endorsement in our continued relationship. We had remarkable successes. There were government-to-government -government engagements where we had about six other African countries represented by the ambassadors present. We had the opportunity to also have institution to individual engagements where we had the vice president of the World Bank representing to ensure that private sector engagement was cemented. And we had institutions, either founded and based in the United States and from Africa, having business to business engagements as well as organization to organization engagements. Overall, it served as an opportunity to test the grounds for what seems to be one of the groundbreaking elements of the celebration of Black History Month in the United States in any other nation in the world. To consolidate the successes of the mating edition, BIDEC has chosen Ohio for the second edition of the Black History Festival to foster sustainable partnerships for positive development in Ghana and the African continent. It is believed that this will boost investor confidence. We want to use the Black History Festival to boost socio-economic development, boosting the economic benefits of every sovereign government, using Ghana as a benchmark. And of course, we expect that at the end of this festival, we'll have a lot of potential investors coming to Ghana. To ensure that our investments of Africans in the diaspora and other bilateral partners are secured, we have IOKO, or the Economic and Organized Crime Office of Ghana, representing as facilitators to ensure the protection and assurance of investments in Ghana. We'll be speaking on the topic, the role of law enforcement in the foreign direct investment. We'll take the opportunity to guide potential investors so that their investments are protected. And it means a lot to us. I just want to employ each and every business person to take advantage of the Black History Festival to sell themselves out and to network. And I want to thank the organizers for having this kind of platform for us. And it makes the business, see when we take the businesses to them and, and attract them to come, it makes it credible, it makes it strong, and makes a win-win situation for both parties. BIDEC is also working closely with the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, NEIP. It is a welcome news to see our partners bringing this opportunity for us to help connect our beneficiaries to the international market through the Black History Month. Uh, we see the exhibition and other networking opportunities as a very big opportunity for us to connect them to the outside world so that they will have exchange of ideas, tap into best practices, the standardization. We are also very much interested in exporting the Made in Ghana products to the North American market, the European market. So we see this Black History Festival exhibition in Columbus, Ohio as one of the unique opportunities we will get to help our beneficiaries, our startups, our SMEs build their capacity. With the endorsement and support of the Diaspora Affairs at the Presidency, the festival also aims at consolidating the achievements of Year of Return and Beyond the Return to foster sustainable partnerships and the African continent at large. Of course, the government of Ghana, playing a key role in the Year of Return in 2019 and dovetailing into the Beyond Return initiative, which has become a bedrock for Pan-African engagements for people of the African uh, diaspora on the continent have played a key role in establishing the Black History Festival. You would have remembered that during the year of return, specific, you know, um, specifically 2019, our president encouraged everyone to return to Ghana, to return to Africa, 
and that is basically what we are aiming at to unite the black um, community and to use Ghana as the gateway to Africa to let them know that they are very much welcome after so many years of slavery having been you know, taken into slavery we still have a heart for them to come back to us we show some of the goods that we sold them into slavery we know the difficulties that they've gone through but home is home and we want them to come back and that's what you know the black history month goes a long way to emphasize in a in a way this is a great opportunity to commemorate the heritage arts culture trade and innovation of Africa and so expectations of stakeholders are very high. The expectation is that it will bring the black community closer and closer together by various activities and by various programs that we organize here back home that we expect the black and the diaspora community to come home in addition to also be followed up by other visitors to make this country the place to visit during Christmas and during, you know, as a matter of fact, throughout the year, we are encouraging our black community to come back. We are looking at strengthening ties between the United States and African Union member states. Our expectations are that this will not be a, a one-off transaction or relationship with organizers based on how well this goes. It will be a continuous opportunity so that annually we can have our beneficiaries taking advantage of some of these international opportunities to get exposed to the international market. They should keep doing it and they should do it actually, in fact annually. Yes, we have to undertake these you know, um, programs all throughout the year. Even though we would have a dedicated February as what the Black History Month, there are so many things that we can do throughout the year to lead up to this uh, eventual you know, um, activity that uh, we, we know has so much relevance for the black community.